The, Eating the, the soup mm. is you are just curing yourself. Yeah, natural yeah. medicine. Yes. Yes. Most of the soups eaten in the eastern part of Nigeria are prepared using one form of soup thickener or the other. The most popular among these soup thickeners include kokoyam, achi, and ofo. But there is one other very important soup thickener that many people seem to have forgotten. And today we are going to see how Enugu people cook with it. Hello guys and welcome back to Epic Food Review. In today's video, I'm about to show you one of the most ancient soups eaten by the Enugu state people. This soup is so ancient and old that some people might not even know about this soup anymore. The soup is called Ofe Okobo. Today we are going to watch an Enugu person prepare the Ofe Okobo the way they normally prepare it. Let's go. Ofe Okobo is a soup that is prepared using Okobo seeds as the key ingredient. This seed is known by different names and is eaten by different tribes in Nigeria. In Igbo land, it is known as okobo or okbo and is normally prepared using vegetables like oha, bitter leaves and pumpkin leaves, depending on what you prefer. When you plant it, it takes time before it can now grow from yes, and uh, it grows like um, all this... Uh, it's like it, does, it doesn't have a strong base? No, no okay. it doesn't. It, it follows the stem, the stem like uh, yam. Like yam, okay, it okay. Up. Yes, after one year, will just eat so many foods okay so and you cannot pluck it until it get dried then you cut it off okay then the the back the shell okay before you get the okobo which has its own shell okay so okobo is being prepared in two ways you can cook it you can roast it okay it can be roasted you can be you can roast the seed yes and you can cook the seed this soup thickener is renowned for its characteristic taste, which tends to improve as the soup gets older, and the soup also gets thicker and darker as it ages. But the, the thing is that the more days it stays, the more the taste comes out mm. and the aroma. Okay. But the more it becomes dark. Okay, the soup will turn dark. Yes, even if you pour it one gram of oil. It will still be dark. It will be darkened on day as this goes. As on. Go okay. Yes. <laughs> and the sweets will now be coming, coming out. out. Okay. Now, now. And it will continue to be ticking. You will be adding more water exactly. as you go. Yes. So that is our native soup right mm. from origin. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Ofo Kobe or Ofo Obo is one of the most ancient soups in Igbo land, and today I will be showing you how it is prepared in Enugu state. It is important to know that the recipe in this video does not apply to how other tribes cook this soup, but how Enugu people cook it. So you are free to comment what you call this thickener in your language and how your recipe differ from the one in this video. You roast it, you bring it out, you grind it into powder texture mm -hmm. and you can also boil it and then you also grind it also uh -huh. but the grinding the the boiled one used to be uh, 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 the test is always different Dif okay from okay. the roasted uh, uh -huh. it's just like if you want to eat chicken now you roast chicken you boil chicken the, bo the, the roasted, the roasted one, one is tastier yes, than normally exactly the Okay. Exactly. Okay. The ingredients you need include the okobo or obo. You will need to either roast or boil it, the shell and pound it to a powder like this. You also need crayfish, ogiri, which is fermented castor seed, bitter leaf or oha leaves, meat of your choice, palm oil, dry chili pepper, stock fish and dry fish of your choice. Start by washing and parboiling your meat with salt, seasoning cubes and pepper for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, add the stock fish and dry fish and cover to cook for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add some palm oil and the okobo powder and mix very well. It is very important that you mix well to avoid clumping. Adjust with more water as the soup thickens. Then add your pounded crayfish, stir and cover to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add the ogiri and mix very well. At this point, your soup is almost ready. You just need to add your desired vegetable. So because I wanted to test it with two vegetables, the soup was divided into two pots. The leaf was added to the first pot and allowed to steam for two minutes. Then the second pot was put on fire and allowed to heat up. Oha leaves were then washed and added to the second pot and the okobo soup was ready. It's ready. Alright guys, here we have the okobo soup. 
the two versions. Okay, this one was prepared with uh, oha leaves, as you can see. You can see the oha leaves. And then this one was uh, prepared with bitter leaves. So, we are going to taste the two of them and I will tell you how it tastes. Okoba and Laura. Okoba and Laura, okay. This, this is just a thick nap. So the actual taste of the soup is tasting like typical oha, uh -huh. oha soup, okay? That's my assessment. It's just like oha soup. So I want to know if this one will be different. Will it give me a different taste? So the let bitter me, leaf. Yeah, the bitter leaf. Let me taste the bitter leaf and see if it's going to give me anything different. Okay. okay guys, so these soups, wonderful. They are delicious mm -hmm. and if you want to know how it tastes, this tastes like typical Oha soup actually and this tastes like bitter leaf soup but <coughs> now I feel like you can get a sweet taste from the Yokobo in this one. Yes. But when it comes to this Oha, the Oha leaf doesn't allow the sweetness to come about. You can get it from the bitter leaf. It's funny. <coughs> It's mean? funny because the bitter leaf is normally bitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you eat the vegetable in the bitter leaf, it's bitter. But when you get only the soup, just like this, you get a kind of a bitter sweet taste mixed mm -hmm. together from here. So left for me, I prefer it with the bitter leaf. Yes, because the okobo is more thickener, has more thickness. Yeah, you feel bitter. it more in yes, the bitter yeah. leaf than yeah, in the exactly. oha leaf. Yes. So that, is there any health benefit you get from eating this? Oha gives blood, and okobo itself is uh, it gives uh, this uh, uh, fiber. Fiber, okay, yes. okay. The body okay. gives fiber. Mm. Yes. All right, so that's why you people now have to exactly. use different yeah. leaves to get to more nutrients exactly. inside it. Wow, okay. Yeah. I prefer the one with this tenubu. The vegetable one? The, I prefer the, the bitter leaf one. Uh, I think the bitter leaf complements the taste of mm. the okobo very well. It's a different taste. Mm -hmm. And bitter leaf itself, as everybody knows, is a, it can cure malaria. Okay. Okay. Bitter, bitter leaf. Mm. Whether you eat it alone, raw. Or oh, you squeeze the ice, uh -huh. you squeeze the water yes, and drink. Oh, yes. All right, all right. Exactly. The Eating the, the soup is you are just curing, having curing yourself. Yeah, natural yeah. medicine. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. So here you have it: the okobo soup prepared in two ways, in Enugu State. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to always get notified when we post wonderful food content like this. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. Yes. I am Mr. Epic, and I'll see you on the next video.